You tuned in to the favorite good guy, the only good guy, Mr. VH1, and you're watching Bossip.com. Well, I decided to do this show because, you know, when Mona and Stephanie and Stephanie and I were sitting down, it was like, yo, what, what does Stevie mean to everybody? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, you know, the people that best know me are my kids and my friends. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, there you go. So let's do something where you with your kids and you with your friends and you're able to showcase your musical talents in a whole nother light. So, you know, it was just an easy fit, you know, just for it to come together like this. And I'm just grateful that, you know, my kids are on the show and my kids are happy with, you know, not being in a ratchet situation. It's like everybody's families can watch the show, like from any age group can watch the show without it, you know, you know, you won't have to cover your children's eyes. You can just enjoy the show and just have some great laughs, you know? Well, Bonnie Bella Jordan is wonderful, you know? Um, she's just amazing. She's beautiful, and she just has this spirit about herself, you know? I mean, I just love her to pieces. She's, uh, she kept jostling up the first few nights, and she couldn't get any sleep, so, you know, I had to come and stay the night and keep her and, you know, show her how my daddy's skills are. She don't cry when she with daddy, you know what I'm saying? Because this ain't my first rodeo, but at the end of the day, she's got this personality about herself, like, she knows what she wants already, and I love it, you know? She's my baby. Yes, it was dropped because, you know, at the end of the day, look, I don't, I don't need no money from her. I just, you know... A lot of things were said, and I just wanted her to own up to that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you say things when you're mad, but just let's not, now that you have a child, you see what it is to involve some, some, someone's child into it. And you know, I know that she feels remorse, remorseful for it, and I know that she'll make her statement or whatever. But at the end of the day, I don't want to gain anything from that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to live right knowing that we have to co-parent, you know, and I want to do the right thing for our child. And, it's not a great thing to be going back and forth to court when you're trying to be a co-parent. That's not a great feeling, you know? I'm going through a court situation right now that I hopefully will be over in a couple of weeks, and you know, I wouldn't wish this on anybody, you know? So I felt the best thing for me to do was, or the right thing for me to do was, you know, and I prayed about it, and you know, this is what I came up with, just to leave it alone, just to drop and not to even show up at court. When we're co-parents and you know what I'm saying, we, we, you know, we keep a lot of, crack a lot of jokes to her, you know what I'm saying, she just had a baby and, you know what I'm saying, and she has to get back to being a beautiful Jocelyn, so, you know, I just say things that make her feel beautiful again and just do things that um, take the load off of her back while she's getting back to being 100% Jocelyn.